Hi everyone, this is Willem Hastier and today is time for a participant interview with Oscar. Hi Oscar. Hello Wilhelm. Hi, I have with me today Oscar Hulledal who did the True Effectiveness program and about six months ago or so I think it was. Yeah, I actually done the program twice. So I did it uh, in the autumn last year and uh, on the spring this year. All oh, right, you were in the pilot versions of the early stages of the program also and just to uh, actually do it in the current version too and at the time of uh, doing the program um, then the last time uh, you were just about finishing your uh, engineering degree so most of our participants are uh, you know professionals out working in different uh, often leadership or managerial positions but you were uh, on the way to doing that you could say and that's okay. So it's nice to give some other face on the, uh, the program, the value, and how it works. So we're here today to talk a bit and see if we can share your experience of the program and the benefits uh, that you had. So first of all, what interested you in participating in the True Effectiveness program in the first place? Hmm. Well, um, this was back in this in last last year's summer so yeah. i got in contact with a uh, with true effectiveness uh, through a friend and uh, so he recommended me the course um so that was how i found it and i found it very interesting because i was looking to increase my effectiveness because i knew i had to i had a lot of a lot to study the last year i knew because i had studied 200% um, double speed um, because uh, if I didn't I wouldn't be able to um, finish my engineer engineering degree uh, that year so uh, the reason was I, I was looking for fundamental truths about uh, how I can function most effectively hmm. so that was in order I wanted to, to to not think about that uh, and to educate myself in that so I can just focus on the work. So, uh, and I was curious. I thought it was, yeah, interesting to, to get in contact with, with, uh, with you, Wilhelm. Uh, we had this introduction yeah. um, thing uh, also. So everything, yeah, yeah, just led to another and yeah, great. I didn't know actually. And this is the year is it, we have meet up and talk basically. I think that's most fascinating. I didn't know you had all that um, work ahead of you when you started. And uh, so you did twice the speed at the end of your the last year of your engineering exam, right? Well, I did twice the speed the first semester during the first time I did. Okay, talk. I see. Because uh, during that semester, the, uh, the year before, I. Yep. Did, uh, I had changed program, yeah. so then, but then I changed back again. Yeah, I uh, see. Because I, I made Catch some recommendations um, that year. So that led to, I had to study both the second grade, uh, the second year of, of, uh, of uh, this engineering degree, innovation engineering, and the third year as well, during the same period. Yes. So, so, uh, so yeah, you did something smart there, which we talked about on early in the program. Also, it's like you had the double amount of courses to study already at at, at your uh, engineering exam, there, right? And then you signed up for another course uh, <laughs> <laughs> to oh. increase your capacity to be productive, right? And you were looking right. for something. Um, agnostic we call it sometimes that would be valid regardless of uh, workload uh, mm. so what did you find in the program that that you found interesting and valuable for you what insights did you get well the first insight was that coldness and taking pauses and um, these things that you first think when you are perhaps are stressed and have much to do you think those things are very unproductive yeah uh, activities but they are not they are the, the opposite and true effectiveness learn 
that's 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 what one thing I, I started to learn. Um, and also, um, yeah, I got some deep insights about my thinking uh, during that period that really also relax made me relax and made me focus. So I was, uh, yeah. It was an interesting period uh, of my life. <laughs> I, so more I, relaxed. Very insightful. I wrote a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay. So more relaxed, more insights uh, and more yeah. calmness. Yes. Yeah. I want to stick with the word insights because you, you use the word, you got more insights about things, which is different than getting more theories or models or techniques yeah. or instructions or checklists or processes. So how would you describe the phenomenon of insight versus other kinds of knowledge we can gain? Well, um, insight is when you have an experience. You know something for sure, and you know it's a fundamental truth that you can rely on uh, in comparison to something, to information, or like, you know, as you said, a process or a method where you, um, you sort of, um, follow a recipe uh, that you need to memorize, but you don't really know why the recipe is that way. Great, um, so. And that, that can lead to, you know, doubt. Yeah. But when you have insight, you don't have doubt, and that's great. <laughs> great, so say a bit more about that, because this is what's so fascinating for me after lots of years of teaching, right? That there are some, insights that when people have them and see them all the time you're not the only one it happens to everyone right it clicks and you go aha wow that's how it works mm. and you see something you see into the nature of something that's insight you see into the nature of something right that you don't need to believe because you I can, you can actually acknowledge that that's how it works at least that's how it works in your experience but it's an authentic experience so what did you get insight about to the level that you now just trust it? Well, as I said, my thinking, uh, what thinking really is uh, and what it is not, or, and more precisely, um, you are not your thinking. So, and you are not your feelings either. So um, you get a very, relaxed um, relationship to your thinking and to your feeling and you get more attentive to your thinking so you can it's easier to break bad habits for example if you because then because you when you don't identify yourself with your, with your thinking or with your like habits then you know you can break them mm -hmm. so this came to me gradually and the like the powerful um, how powerful it was, was the insight, I guess. Because I, I did, I, I, I've heard it before, before that as well, but I didn't really, I, I thought it was kind of a slogan, like a, <laughs> yeah. something, something just people said, like, you know. But then, but then when, when I did this, um, uh, what, do you, what, what do you call them? Your... Um, action items or... Action items, items, right. Yeah. It opened up my... Uh, I would say consciousness, um, or, or what do you say? Your my um, my awareness, awareness, awareness yeah. to, to to my thinking, and that was great. Awesome. So I just want to underline a few points here because what you're sharing is actually true for all people. It's not personal, right? So, mm. as I hear it, you started to notice, and it got deeper, and then you realized that the thinking that goes on where you are, it's not actually who you are, but something you can relate to. Mm. Yeah, so when you have a storm of stressful thoughts, you can relate to them, knowing that that's not who you are ultimately, it's just thoughts going on, right? And the feelings that go with stressful thinking is stress and worry and concern and all that. And that's also something we can have a relationship to versus have the experience that that's all there is. That's right. Yeah. And that's a liberation. It's really great. 
So what did that insight provide? What's on the other side? What, what it did provide? Yeah, like, for so? you, what, what opened up from seeing that you, you could say you, you got a distinction between an awareness and thinking. So who you now are is some kind of awareness of thinking instead of only being in the thinking. So what did that provide for you? What changed, what opened up? What's the uh, value of seeing that for you? Well, it's, you know, it, it goes hand in hand with, with uh, the other things in true effectiveness. For example, when you uh, organize your week, um, when you make these weekly um, uh, plans, uh, then you know you can, have, you can have that as a structure. But you can hold that structure much more easily if you're aware of your thinking in relationship to that structure because that structure is a result of of, of uh, you know what you want what you want to achieve uh what you what you have to do but then of course there's a lot of feelings and thinking uh, feelings and perhaps not like very pleasant feelings that goes with that you want something uh, to happen, you want to do something, but perhaps the process is is it's not pleasant, you know. Yes. So when when you really are aware of of that you are not your feeling and your thinking, and you know it's a pro, uh, it, the the, um, the feeling and the thinking can change over time. You have these moods that just goes away if you just stay relaxed, you know, and take a pause. So. Um, it's very, it's very nice to just know that, and and it makes you, as as I said, not doubt on your, uh, you know, decisions on how you want to plan your week or your life. Basically, if you want something, then just go for it. And and the feeling, if you're aware of it, it's not that bad. Actually, it's 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 more like. I once I made this reflection. I remember I made it like feelings are like entertainment. <laughs> it's it's like it's like okay now I feel this way that's funny like <laughs> and uh, but I still have to do this so whatever like you know you you and and it makes you strong it makes you very strong to to um, to have that relationship you know, to the feeling so. And it's, it, it, it's, it makes life fun and exciting, I think. Because, as I said, feeling is only an entertainment. You know, if, if, you, if you're happy, sure, you can, you can relate to the feeling. And like, woo, yeah. If you're sad, you can like, uh, okay, I'm sad. That sucks. But, you know, it's, 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 just, it's just a feeling. Yeah, it, it's, and... Um, you know, there's this expression like pain is another form of pleasure, or like it's it's kind of like it it becomes kind of like that. So yeah. that's powerful. So I guess that's what I'm meaning. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Good. So for people that haven't participated or see this, like if one way to say the same thing like you're sharing, which is great, by the way, it's like. If something feels very hard and difficult, it doesn't mean that that thing is hard and difficult. It just means I happen to feel that right now, right? Tomorrow right. morning I can feel inspired again. If something feels very stressful and problematic, it doesn't mean that it is stressful and problematic. It means that that's how I feel right now. And maybe I don't need to make such a big deal of it. And yeah. Yeah, that fits. Yeah. And the other, something feels very easy and nice right now. And this project is amazing. And I'm so happy I started it. Well, who knows? In three days, I might feel different. Mm. But it's not all that important all the time to try to fix your feelings. They kind of, in one way, take care of themselves. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's important to know that it's all, you know, feelings are like weather. Yeah. They, it comes and goes. Yeah. So, and it's just a, it's not you. It's, 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 <laughs> I mean, life is meant to be felt. 
but the feeling is not life. Life okay. is more than a feeling. <laughs> so an interesting question then to me, which I'm curious to hear your answer to, if you aren't your thoughts and feelings, then who are you? Mm. Do you have a, an answer to that or? Well, I, right now, I you know, it, it, I, I just love to strive to make, to make effort towards, towards something. And th there's an energy behind that. And that energy is life, I think. Mm -hmm. to have that energy and to, to trust it um, and just follow it. Okay. For me right now, um, that's more, more, more fundamental than, than everything else, like um, the feeling right. and, the, and the thinking. Oh, great. It's a nice way to answer it. It's, it's an ageless, timeless question, the one who am I, right? Mm. Yeah, I don't have a fixed answer for it, but I say that. So you're more identified now with this natural energy to create, to move forward, to express yourself in the world, than you are to any feelings that happen to occur in the moment. So what's true exactly. for you? Exactly. Yeah. So mm. what's more true for you now sounds like is to follow that inner energy, to use your word. Mm. whatever you want to move forward and create and you trust that doing that works well for you yeah yeah no. you know yeah so it's it's and 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 you know the everything in true effectiveness like puts that forward like in the in your life it puts, yeah. It shines light on, on that energy. You know, yes. When we reflect and when we plan, and that com in combination with, with this like mindfulness, uh, you know, philosophy kind of makes it, um, you know, m m shines light on, on this. Okay, what is it that you what, what is it that you really want to achieve? Yeah. And then, and then you, it, it becomes like very clear, and to to. To just go for it, yeah, and that creates energy when you get clear. And yes. Like, okay, this I I need to do this. Okay, let's yeah. do it. Like, yeah. And then everything falls in place. So. Um, yeah, great. So, how would you say if you compare your productivity now to like a year plus ago? How would you describe the difference? Um. Well. It depends on how you define it. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I like do right now because this is this is right after the summer. Also, I have yeah. so much to do right now. <laughs> but uh, uh, but I would say that the, the the main difference is not how much I do, but how much I get affected. Of what I'm doing, mm, great, and that creates a better life to live, a more happy life. So that is that is also effectiveness. Sure. It doesn't have to be pure productivity. It can also be, you know, better productivity, but or the same, but with increased happiness and increased yeah. um, calmness and increased clarity. You know, and 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 also increased focus, so, so you don't you're not productive in the wrong direction. Yeah, great. I love the words calmness, clarity, focus, because that's uh, definitely part of the effects of seeing the things that you talked about as insights. Mm. Great. Well, I, I now used to talk about the True Factness program. I'll just share that with you and then we'll see if there's some final thoughts on this. Um, is that we basically do four things in the program or we work with four things. First, we do what we see to do to stop vicious circles, like negative circles. Those th things we do that drain us of capacity versus expands our capacity. Like people are so overwhelmed they would need to plan, but they can't take time to plan because they are so over overwhelmed. That's the vicious circle, right? Or, 
people work so hard so that in the evening they are too tired to go to bed. So they watch hours for two, TV for two hours more, right? Is that vicious circle that we trapped in. Okay. So we help people find a space there and start making choices that breaks those patterns and start starts to build a better capacity, right? Right. The first thing we do. The second thing we do is what you speak about. We uh, look into the design of the human mind. And we know the human mind produces thinking. And we know there's feeling that goes along with certain thoughts. And then we look at the moods we are in, could be up and down. And then there is some insight to be had there that rather than being inside of them, maybe I can relate to them. And... Uh, that's great. <laughs> and then out of that comes some reflection on what's true for you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Forgot to bring the water here. So what's true for you? Or rather, what is your... <clears throat> where do you find meaning and inspiration for you? In terms of direction, in terms of focus, in terms of uh, what's important in life? I mean, we can hear when you speak, you have found a lot of... <clears throat> was truly meaningful for you in terms of following your energy, in terms of not validating yourself about external productivity, but more of quality of life. And you speak to that's what you see productiveness is for you. Yeah. And that third part gives people a lot more direction, clarity, focus. And of course, then progress starts to happen towards whatever goals or intentions one has. And then lastly, we work with the structures and tools that people need so they don't fall right back into that old place again. So you speak about doing a weekly planning or other tools like that. So basically getting out of the vicious circles, understanding the mind, finding direction and starting to use tools better. It's, it's not more complex than that, but you do that systematically and not for theory, but to insightfully see something. Sounds to me, when you speak that, I use the metaphor sometimes of seeing something insightfully, is like finding balance on a bike. And when I listen to you speak on this call and before when we spoke also, yeah, it's like you found some kind of new balance in, the, in relating to life, I think, or to yourself in life, right? Right. Uh, absolutely. And you did not have a bad balance before, I can tell people. You were very productive and uh, a super focused, uh, really productive person before the program also. But there is this new sense of balancing life better. Yeah. But, well, I can say um, it's funny because I, I really loved my first and second year in, in engineering because it was a lot of mathematics and applied mathematics and physics and, and stuff. Uh, and, and I really got the flow in that and just got a lot of energy out, out of that. Mm -hmm. um, and it was very clear for me what I wanted to do. I just wanted to continue, continue, to, do, to, do, continue to do that. Yeah. But then, but then my, you know, my, my degree continued and it was very joint. It was very broad uh, in its subjects. So then I started a lot of other stuff that I didn't like at all. Mm. But then I, at the same time, I joined through effectiveness. And this helped me very much because then I knew how to relate to these feelings that was not so energizing to have. Yeah. Um, but, but, still, I, I, but still cope with them and continue and, and have focus because of these reflective moments that I un understood, okay, I need to finish my degree anyway, so I need to do this. Yeah. So, then I got a new relationship to it. So that was very, very, uh, you know, educational and uh, for me to, to, to learn that, learn that about myself. I learned how, how, how I need to work when things are not super fun and super inspiring, but still harness this energy to continue. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah. So it, it, to reflect on, effectiveness was really you know it came came right at the perfect uh, situation in my in my degree so <laughs> yeah, i'm very grateful yeah oh you're so welcome 
and that's not only for people working towards their uh, degree it's for any leader any manager in any job there are these things we love to do and that it's yeah. inspiring and they've had all this other stuff and endless it seems sometimes of mails and meetings and interruptions and people and, and relating to that and finding that true place of focus clarity and heart is exactly the challenge so many people face um, so um, it's valuable for you to share this and for anybody who wants to listen. Great, I think that's all from my side for today. It was great to talk to you and chat again after a long summer. Anything else you want to say to sum this up or not that you need to? I think, um, no, I'm happy as it is. I'm uh, very grateful for uh, the opportunity to talk to you again, Ilan. Sure. It's always, uh, al always a great, great pleasure. So. Thanks. Thank Oh, I thoroughly enjoyed speaking to you too. So great, we'll finish up there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, Bye. -bye. Bye.